A very good morning everyone. It's Friday already. Would you believe that? Parang kahapon lang, Monday, tapos ngayon, Friday ulit. Another kalabasa. And then here, another kalabasa. Uh -huh. We have a lettuce squash already. So we are back to work again though it's Friday. Well, we only have one day off actually. It's only on a f Sunday. And please do pardon me if you were hearing background noises at this moment because now wala ko na naman yung microphone ko. As usual, parang tumatanda tatanda tayo. Anyway, we are here back at our grower house. Na sanitize na namin to, pero meron pa pala kaming kulang. So kailangan namin tong gawin otherwise madedestorbo yung mga manok natin in time. So by the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Pia. I am a retired flight attendant. Now I'm back here in the Philippines for good doing a layer poultry business with my husband so right now we are building this small grower house slash brooder house para sa darating na bullets natin in the next few days so ang bilis ng panahon malapit na talaga kaming magiging parents ay may ganun pala yun <laughs> anyway excited lang siguro kami sa darating na araw to be really honest guys we are a bit anxious at the same time excited i think this is the reason why we wanted to have everything ready because we just really want to focus on the chicks when they come so you're going to talaga pag first timers ano but we are excited dahil sa pangarap namin na one day we will be able to make our dreams come true na to have a bigger um, population ng mga layers natin. So, excited kami dun. This also reminded me on those times na nangarap akong maging flight attendant before. Actually, it took me two years before I managed to get my dream job. And uh, I also doubted before. Akala ko hindi ako makapasok dahil feeling ko kailangan talaga maganda, kailangan matangkad talaga, fair skin and all those. Pero nung nakapasok na ako, I proved them wrong. Hindi na kailangan naman pala talaga ng beauty queen. Pwede lang palang ordinaryong tao like me. So, ayun. So, kailangan lang talaga palang mangarap para may goal ka at yung sinasabi nila na may rason ka para gumising araw-araw. So anyway, while I'm waiting for the boys to finish what they're doing, ito na naman si Inday. Nandito na naman sa labas. Uh, actually, it is very very hot today. Pero kailangan bantayan yung ginagawa nila para pag matapos na, you delegate another job for them to do so in the next three days we will be disinfecting again the house actually we needed to disinfect the house minimum of three times pagkatapos nyan we will install all those feeders and drinkers by the way guys we bought all our equipment from Cebu it's another province from here just close by that is because it's way cheaper than buying all of these here and as you all can see we bought a lot of them dahil we have a thousand right so you need to make sure that you have more feeders and drinkers for your chicken for them to be able to have weight uniformity oh, diba? at least i learned something from the manual that i read and I guess that is because I'm really very interested with what I'm doing 
Siguro ganun talaga pag ano fascinated ka sa mga bagay-bagay na interesado ka. Like yung flight attendant pa ako. We really have to read the manual. We have to follow them because safety yun eh. Anyway, I am currently removing all the feeders and drinkers from its plastic for me to be able to place and you know demonstrate to our staff how the feeders and drinkers is supposed to be positioned. So, kasi first time din niya, so kailangan ko siyang bigyan ng picture on how it should be positioned in this building. So, naka-arrange na yan, yung feeders at chicken drinkers are already being counted and being estimated as to where they're supposed to be placed. At first nga eh, naguguluhan siya kasi ang daming klasik-klasing feeders at chika drinkers. So I had to give him an idea that for chicks, it has to be a different kind of feeder as well as the drinker. And then for chicken na, pag lumaki na sila, dun pa yun papalitan na. So dun niya naiintindihan na. Akala niya kasi ilalagay lahat. So that's why he felt really overwhelmed. I even have to demonstrate to him on how he's going to distribute the feeds to all the feeders and I also instructed him that all the drinkers should be cleaned every single day and that they should be given clean water. So I guess that will be it for now guys. I hope you have enjoyed my short vlog for today and I shall see you again on Monday. I'll say bye for now.